All right, so iOS 13 this year finally comes with one of the most requested features maybe ever. All right, that might be going a little too far, but it's a feature people have wanted for a long time. I'm talking about external storage support for hard drives, for SD cards, for any kind of external media. And these days with the capability of shooting 4K video on the iPhone, that's going to fill your phone up quickly. So especially if you shoot more videos than photos, um, this video is gonna be great for you. So anyway, let's jump in and um, I'll show you how this works on the iPad and the iPhone. All right, so what I've got here is just a USB-C uh, SSD drive, and I'm gonna plug it into the side of the iPad here. And this process will also work on the iPhone the same way. Um, but once I plug it in, we're in the Files app. Um, this drive is going to pop up here in just a second and show up as an option to store media. Um, so there's the SSD. So if we hop into the Photos app, here you can select any photos that you want to back up to uh, the SSD. So if I just hit select up here and then scroll through and start selecting photos, uh, you can then hit the share option. And let's see, now first of all, you might want to um, add some options here. So if you hit options there, uh, you can also um, add all of your photos data. So location, um, things like that. And then if you scroll all the way down to save to files, you'll have the option again to choose the SSD drive as your export option. So once you hit save, um, these uh, photos that I've selected are going to be stored on that SSD. So again, let's go back to the files app. Uh, and then now I have all of these images that I've selected that are stored on this SSD. So uh, really a great way to back up photos and same thing applies for videos here. So what I just showed you will work the same way on the iPhone with the Files app and the Photos app. And Apple sells a number of adapters for the Lightning uh, port on the iPhone and for the USB-C uh, port on the um, iPad. So Apple's probably gonna get some of your money here one way or the other, but uh, I think this option is gonna be better for a lot of people than spending the $10 a month on iCloud Drive. And even then, you know, again, after filming 4K video for a while, you run out of storage eventually anyway. So I uh, hope this video helped. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.